Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosio, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of a diamond painting company that I just love. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. <laughs> so the company I'm going to box today is Dreamer Designs. I know, I know, I've been doing for the last couple weeks unboxing of a different company. But I decided to change it up and I've currently been working on Dreamer Designs rounds. I have two diamond paintings I'm trying to finish and oh my goodness, I just love those rounds. And when I was going through my stash, I remembered, oh, I do have a couple of extra round paintings that I haven't started yet. So I really wanted to show one to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and the box, if you've never purchased Dreamer Designs, they're really sturdy. I'm a big fan of these boxes. On the side, they have a nifty little handle that myself, since I was moving from my previous location, really helped me out a lot when I was moving painting. Sorry, paintings. So that's I really appreciate that. Uh, give me a moment. Sorry about that. My apologies. For some reason, there are people just honking like crazy. Out there. I'm kind of close to a street, so if I pause every now and then, is because for some reason they just want to honk <laughs> at the back of the box is just information if you need to down painting as well as what the kit contains and your standard warnings since there are small items on the side there is a QR code for 15 percent off discount if you decide you want to purchase another dreamer design painting keep forgetting to use this code so kind of remember for the next one <laughs> and it is covered in plastic so this painting I actually haven't opened at all so let me take everything out and I'll be right back give me a moment okay I'm back <laughs> so there was one other item I wanted to show on the box and that's I have issues showing it because the boxes are usually longer but this one's a little shorter at the bottom of the boxes for dreamer designs they always have the image uh, the painting that you that is in the box and all of the information about the painting. I really love that because myself, I stack my paintings on top. So I can look at the ends if I decide, oh, you know what? I'll, you know, work on that painting. I know what it is because I can just pull it from <laughs> my stash. <laughs> so I really wanted to show that because I really love that they have that on their boxes. So hopefully I'll drop the box. I feel like it's going to fall. Oh, it's taped. <laughs> so the painting, they're always in a wonderful little fabric bag. And it helps with dust and everything to keep the canvas safe and clean. At the bottom has the name of the company and the little bag is a drawstring as well. Really, really love that with these bags. They're really useful if you're currently working on a painting and you put it aside for a bit. You can put it in the bag and it'll keep it safe. Big fan of that. The canvas is really soft, really velvety. That's why I really love these canvases. And it's wrapped around always with a ribbon. And so, without further ado, let me just pull the ribbon. Ta da! <laughs> it's so fancy whenever I take off the ribbon. And I do save these ribbons and use them for crochet bags that I make. So, it's really neat. I really do love those ribbons. So, the diamonds and everything is furled within the painting. Oh my goodness. And I'll give you information of the painting in a moment. That is so, so pretty. I love how the canvas is looking. Oh, they actually tucked in the bag in there. Usually they have it separate, but it's all right. Let me pull everything out. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. I'm recording later in the day, and for some reason the traffic is really, really getting a little crazy. <laughs> so within the canvas, it has your diamonds, which I'm going to put them aside real quick. Also, it has your label sheet. They do include labels that are pre-cut with an adhesive, a little thank you pamphlet, and in this kit, they did have the tool kit rolled in. They usually don't. They usually have them put inside the bag, but not in the canvas, but we'll check that out in a moment. So let's look at the tool kit. So the tool kit are always in these really, really soft velvety bags. <laughs> I've seen another diamond painter that calls the material kind of like a pajama kind of style <laughs> i really i like that description but it's just really soft vel really velvety and i am a big fan of that so let me just open it real quick it has a larger tray Whoop. and I believe there's also some resealable bags and your little grip i do love the bag it is a really big size and even after i take all the tool kit I always use the bags. I'm a big fan of them. So it includes your standard resealable bags. I really am a fan of these. A pair of tweezers. 
really sharp and pointy. <laughs> I really love Dreamer Design tweezers. They're really sturdy and tough, and I haven't had any benefit on me. Two standard pens, one with a brass tip and the other with a white plastic tip. This pen, I love these. They're really good for, they're for picking up AB drills. As you can see, it looks a little bit different. And your two of these wonderful comfort grips for your pens. And I can never get them in correctly. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do that. But you can slide them in and use them for your pens if you prefer using standard pens. This is a special tip pen, as you can see. You just press the wax and you can use it to pick up the AB. And it's really, really useful when paintings have AB diamonds. <laughs> and it includes two little containers of standard wax. And it just has one pad. I really love these little containers because they're really useful, especially for holding trash drills while you're painting. And I love it has the company name on them. I really love these little containers. And I really love the wax. It really stands really, sorry, it lasts a really long time. It has a couple multi-placers and it also includes a straightener. And these, you can put them on your standard pen or if you have a preferred pen, it works as well. I have it on a couple of my other kind of pens, but sometimes I'll use the standards. So I have no issue with that. And it has a multi-placer. I believe this is six and this is three. Oh, I love my threes. <laughs> and your standard kit. Sorry, your standard tray. And I love Dreamer Design trays. They're really large trays. At the bottom, it has the name of the company. You're a big fan of. You have several of your trays. As you can see, if there's a little indentation, you can actually stack them up. Really good for storing. It has a little spout for when you're going to pour out the diamonds. You can open it, pour them out, and just click it back in, and you're good to go. The little plastic separator. First time when I saw this, I had no idea what it was until I saw another painter show an unboxing, and it's a separator for diamonds. So you would just slide it into your tray, and it separates if you decide to use two colors at the same time. I've actually started doing that whenever I have, you know, confetti heavy canvases. I do this as well. So all you would really do is pour out this color first, remove the separator, and pull out the second color. I'm a big fan of it. I have a lot of them. <laughs> I am a big, big fan of these trays because I love large trays and I love the separators. Really, really useful. As I said, especially if a painting has a lot of confetti. So let me just put everything back in the bag. There's a lot of small parts that I really don't want to lose them. And it's, I really love this tray. That's why I have a lot of them. And I'll put them on the side and use a big fan of them. So I'm going to put it aside real quick. I'm going to close up. As I said, it's a little drawstring. Just have to close it up. <laughs> and sorry, it fell off on my desk. <laughs> and this is the paper that was i want to say paper that sounds so funny this is just a thank you pamphlet that's rolled into the canvas thank you for your purchase and instructions especially if you're new to diamond painting there's also some tips and tricks recommendations even if you know you're a veteran diamond painter tips and tricks always helps us out every now and then <laughs> instructions in the middle and another qr code for 15 percent off just in case you wish to purchase another canvas and it's kind of appreciation kind of code and in the back, information about their social medias. They do have a Facebook group, which I am happily in. They're, the community is so, so nice. And Dreamer Designs is always looking at the comments and they'll respond. So if there's any suggestions or anything like that about the paintings, they're willing to listen. And sometimes our suggestions, they will follow through. <laughs> I, like I said, I really love their community. And this is the paint. The name of the painting is called Tree of Wisdom by Ray Here or artlicensing.com. It is a 60 by 60 centimeter or 23.6 by 23.6 centimeters, I'm sorry, inches, and is a round diamond. And it's a beautiful tree with wonderful colored leaves with a wonderful sky in the background and wonderful dark earth. <laughs> I was going to say dirt, but that sounds weird. Leading up to the trunk. Oh, I really love this image when I first saw it. I'm a big fan of it. And I really love the color scape. It's more jewel tone, and I'm a big fan of that. And everything on here, even here, they're little stickers. So you can stick them anywhere. I do have some on my desk, because you probably noticed them. And also, as well, the name is a brand as well. Everything's a sticker. I really love that. That's why some of these, as I said, I have on my desk. And on the side, they do have labels that are pre-cut and they are adhesive. As you can probably see when I'm lifting it up. But being careful because I kind of don't want to lose any. And this painting has 
55 colors and it includes five ABs. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, it's going to be really, really sparkly. <laughs> and I really love their labels. They're really sturdy. Anytime I put them on my containers, I have no issues at all. It also includes the end and start date. So, and I do fill these up. Even the little image itself is an adhesive. So I do stick them into my log book, especially when I'm working on the painting. Big fan of that. Let me put these aside real quick. And let's look at the canvas. After that, we'll look at the diamond. As I said, it is a 60 by 60, so I believe I can get it all on my desk. Sometimes they're a little wider, so... And if it's caught, I know I have to keep rolling it over and over. I'll make sure to do a flyover video so you see the painting a lot clearer if it might be an image you might like. Oh my goodness, the first color I keep seeing is this nice dark red. And the canvas, even though it was rolled up, it doesn't stay creased. As you see, I'm just leaving it laying here on my desk and the creases are gone. That's why I really love their canvases. It is. It's a big square. It's 60 by 60. <laughs> and at the top of the canvas, on the top left corner, it includes the name of the painting. So as you can see, Tree of Wisdom. And as a little thumbprint of the image, in case myself, I use them for comparison when I'm painting. On the top right, just information again about their social media. And hashtag in case you want to, you know, show the status and share to everyone how your painting is coming up. On the top right and the lower left are legends of all the diamonds, which I'm a big fan of, because myself, I'm always turning the canvases around. So it helps that there are two legends on each side. Big fan of that. And at the bottom of the canvas, oops, sorry, <laughs> my trays are kind of in the way. Let me see if I can get it kind of go up. Is on the lower right corner, it has the name of the company, Dreamer Designs, in the middle of the canvas, their motto, Paint with Passion. As painters, I believe we all do. <laughs> on the lower left corner, just information about their lifetime warranty. If there's any issues with the painting, or if unfortunately you run out of paintings, or if some paintings decide to run away and they spill, you can contact them and they'll assist you on correcting the issue. I'm a big, big fan of their customer service. Always follow stir. And this is the canvas, and I'm going to try to see if I can slowly pull it down without dragging everything off on my desk. Oh, oh my goodness, this is so pretty, and I really love the color. So I'm going to leave the painting here. I really love this image. Let me get the diamond real quick. And get this up real quick. Yeah, I'll make sure to do a flyby, flyover video. Sorry. Oop, there goes another tray. I really need to clean more of my desk. I was painting earlier, so I have trays everywhere. So that's what you keep hearing them. I'm knocking them over. So these are the diamonds. What I do love for the bag for the diamonds, if you decide to store your diamonds in another area and you're painting somewhere else, if you store them separately, they do label the name of the painting. So if you know, oh, you know what? I feel like doing this one this week. You can just grab it and you can grab the diamonds and you're good to go. So let's look at the diamonds. This painting is a round. Just saying it again. <laughs> and I've probably said it a hundred times in other videos. Ooh, sorry, I was opening it up there. I love their rounds. And I will stick by it all the time. <laughs> and all, as I said, I'm working on two paintings of rounds as well. And apologies for the printing ones. I just, they're, they're so smooth, easy placement, have no problems with the canvas at all when I'm placing it. Oh, my apologies for that. Speaking about the canvas. Sorry, this, there we go. It's a little plastic kind of floor a bit. Plastic covering on the canvas is really sturdy. It's really thick. Helps out a lot. And the stick on the drill field, ooh, super lost of finger, fingerprint, is really tough. I haven't had the issues of any diamonds having problems popping off or anything. That's I'm a big, big fan of it. And as you can see, the drill field is really clear. You can see all the symbols, especially corresponding for lighter colors. They put a darker font. On darker colors, they put a lighter color. If it's still too dark to, for you, you can use a light pad, which I have before. Sometimes the, dark, the darker areas, but usually I don't. It works out perfectly. Oh my goodness, I really want to work on this painting. <laughs> and I, I was worried, oh, I'm going to box this. It's super going to win me over. And yes, it is. I love the blue of the sky. It's just so pretty. Oh my goodness, let's look at that. As you can see, they're all rolled up, and the neato thing about Dreamer Design, they put everything in numerical order. So the way they are on the legend is the way they'll have the strips of the diamonds. 
big big fan of that and oh my goodness i love all the jewel tone and everything with these diamonds and yep we're gonna go through <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with this strip because i saw that it was number one and i believe it's a couple of them. yeah sometimes your strips are real short which i'm a big fan of especially when i'm kidding up so number one is number 154 next one is 164 the next two packets is our lovely 310 oh my goodness i love 310 i really do and i love dreamer design diamonds they're real shiny especially the 310 <laughs> 321 five, 356 372 420 Ooh, i love that kind of light brown 434 and 435 Oh, luckily, they're really different colors. I get a little nervous whenever it's like colors that look a lot alike, but those I can totally tell the difference. Oops, I got up to them. And this one is 469, 470. Same thing. You can kind of tell the difference between the green. 471. Oh, three of them. Goodness, I have to really be careful with that. <laughs> 500 and there are two packets of this wonderful wonderful forest green oh we really love that color 501 really pretty pretty dark teal 502 535 611 and 612 oh my goodness there's barely in the bag i love that <laughs> and for the next strip it is 645 720 this nice dark pumpkin orange 730, 779, 797. Oh, I love that blue. 801, 814. Ooh, that dark burgundy is really pretty. 815. Ooh, yeah, you can kind of tell these are a little bit lighter. 823. And there are two packets of wonderful dark blue. Oh, I really like that color. Apologies, I'm trying not to get off camera. <laughs> and the next one is 833, 895. 918. Ooh, I love that red. 920. A 924. Two packets of this wonderful dark teal. I love teal. So every time you hear me go, ooh, it's a teal color. <laughs> 936. 938. 975. And 977. And I love orange too. So I love this carrot orange. Oh, that's super pretty. You guys, two strips left. Yes, I do. Oops, sorry. And 987, 988, 989. Oh my goodness, these packets barely have any. <laughs> 3052. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one made it up. That's a lot in one packet. 3371, 3722, 3815, 3826, 3827. Oh, I love this really soft kind of marigold color. And 3828. After the last strip, which I believe it has our EB. 3834, 3853, 3855. Ooh, totally see the difference between these two. <laughs> 3862 and the start of our AB. AB 307 is this wonderful yellow. As you can see the AB effect. Oh, I really love the shine on that. AB 597. Yay! There is an AB teal. Oh, I love this color. AB 666. Oh, I never had 666 as an AB. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I really love that. And AB 742. That nice marigold color becomes an AB. Oh, that's so pretty. And finally, AB 792. Really beautiful dark blue. So with darker colors, you can see the AB effect really, really clearly, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, my goodness, that is so pretty. So that is all the diamonds. So let me move these aside real quick. And I'm not going <laughs> to... I am not going to roll them up on camera. It's going to take me a while, so I'm just going to, oh, apologies, I tapped the camera. I'm just going to put them aside real quick. There we go. Put them on my desk, but it sounds like I should throw them across the room. Apologies for that. <laughs> so, for the first day B, it is AB307, which is this wonderful yellow, and it is the symbol letter R. And I believe it's in the tree. I believe a lot of ABs might be in the tree. And I'm correct. I'm just putting the plastic wrap to the side. I'm going to roll it up a bit just to make it easier. It's this little yellow part on the top of the tree. I think of my, there we go. It's this little lovely yellow on top. 
Oh my goodness, that's going to contrast really, really well with the dark blue sky. Wow, that's going to be so pretty. The next color, AB597. Give me one moment. Apologies for that. If it's not cars, it's planes for me. <laughs> So for the next AB, AB597 is that wonderful dark teal that I love so much. I believe it's in the sky. And I'm trying to locate the symbol because there are so few of this diamond. That's why I'm trying to see if I can pinpoint it. Oh, it's in these little sections here. These little random dark spots of teal. It's mostly on this side. It's this wonderful AB. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. Our third AB, AB666. It is little symbols, little pill symbol. That's what I call it because it looks like that to me. It's here in the little red sections of the leaves. Around the top part here and here. I believe a lot of the ABs are going to be in the leaves. In the colorful part of the tree. Hmm, kind of makes sense. AB742, this lovely marigold color. It is the letter E. And again, it's also in the little yellowy parts of the leaves also down here as well so it's not just the top of the tree this color is a little bit more sporadic than the others anything yellowy it's going to go there and for the dark blue which is ab792 it's the two lines that look like a railroad track that's what they look like to me <laughs> and it's here oh it's kind of part of the more darker part of the tree i believe it might be contrasting with the sky i thought for sure it might go into the top part of the sky the dark blue but it's not it's within the leaves so pretty much all the abs are going to be in the tree hmm. i usually don't enhance my paintings but i kind of want some sparkle in the sky and i don't have a lot of dreamer design abs so maybe i have to do more dreamer design paintings <laughs> so i can save those abs but oh my goodness i really really love this image i'm a big fan of it and without further ado let me get the flyover video for you, which you'll see right about now. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that wonderful flyover video with that relaxing music. I, I really do love this image. Once I finish my other two, the other two, as I said, the other two paintings I'm working on around, I think I'm going to pick up this one next. As I said, I was so worried when I was going to unbox it, I was going to fall in love with it. And lo and behold, I was right. I love it. It's a mix of confetti and a mix of color blocking. I have no issues with that. So stay tuned for that kid up video. <laughs> also, I am a Dreamer Design Affiliate, so I actually do have a Dreamer Design Affiliate link, which you'll see in the description below. You can click on it and it'll, well, pretty much help me out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as well information about this painting i'll put in description below it may be a nice wonderful colorful tree it's your style as well <laughs> and again if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate it if you're new to the channel all i ask is if you can do the usual if you can like and subscribe i really appreciate that as well really helps out putting out the channel and it really allows me the opportunity to show everyone all of these wonderful paintings we love to do even wonderful little trees <laughs> and again thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day thank you